Beethoven house. Is it open? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. And uh, how, how much does it cost to... Ah, six euros. Six, six mm -hmm. euros? Mm -hmm. yeah. But at least even you don't visit, you can visit the shop, there are really nice souvenirs if you're oh, interested. Okay. I'll give you some information. So it's basically about Beethoven and his life here in town. Mm -hmm. So we have lots of um, examples to listen to, mm -hmm. but not so much to look at because that mm -hmm. is not our um, okay. aim really. Oh, okay. Yes. That's interesting. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh -huh. okay. okay, that's okay. great. Yeah. Okay. Nine euros. Yes. Okay, we will go and see. This is the great opportunity because um, every time I was here, it was closed. Oh, how unfortunate! Because I was here on the weekends, and we came here to study in the seminary in the Heiligen Kreuz. Yes. Only for a week. So yes. we will be glad to visit. And uh, that's nice. Thank yes. you. Thank you. It will be nice to see this exhibition and this uh, museum. It's a lot of, of um, audio. Mm -hmm. So downstairs we have a computer that talks to you how bad Beethoven's hearing was yes. when he was here. Uh -huh. 1821 to 23 in the mm -hmm. summers he was living upstairs. All right. So there are the two rooms that mm -hmm. he rented out. So you may start there. This is an installation of the Ninth Symphony uh -huh. he finished in this house. Uh -huh. um, it's only the fourth sentence or the fourth part. Uh -huh. It's with Barenboim at the Bronze 2012 in London, uh -huh. Royal Albert Hall. And as I said, downstairs is just an explanation of how bad his hearing was and how um, acoustics is working, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. All right, this is great. Thank you so much. So you can basically sit down here and listen to Beethoven's music and uh, it's really nice. It's all computerized and uh, just this is just where we are and uh, we will probably go downstairs and it's possible to use the uh, handsets here and just listen to the music and and uh, we will go upstairs and see the Be Beth Holland's room and it will be really nice for us well, mm. this is really nice Exhibition, Beethoven House, and this is the table where Beethoven ate, probably, and there is also another room where you can listen to Beethoven music, it is encouraged, and each of his works is uh, marked on the wall. Now we will go to see Beethoven's bedroom. There are some nice things on the table. This is Beethoven costume, evidently, and he is. Uh, room where he stayed 
This is really nice. And he slept. He was quite short, I guess. Very interesting. Okay. And this is his uh, very interesting things. And uh, China and their table he worked where he worked with notes what he wrote some ink and special pen it's very interesting pen actually which draws special uh, note frames very nice i have never seen this and the stall this is really good and the chest and another stove so and this is about how Beethoven visited this house three years in a row it is called the coppersmith house and was owned by local magistrate and coppersmith Beethoven had a small front room a bedroom and a living room at his disposal. He also had the use of the balcony facing the garden. Beethoven suffered from health complaints throughout most of his life. In Baden he visited the baths and took the sulfurous waters in the hope that this would ease his suffering. And he did indeed feel improved, leaving Baden again in better health for the winter season. None of the original furniture has survived from Beethoven's time here. During the restoration of the Beethoven house, contemporary murals were discovered of the house walls and ceilings, and they show floral patterns such as palm front, fronds and flower tendrils, which are typical of the period. Very nice. So this is our excursion on the Beethoven house and we will go down stairs and we will get something. It was really nice time for us and we got some gifts for our son and for our another son and now we will go to Rosarium.